What's up guys and welcome to another video here on the Man United Daily YouTube channel and I'm just I, in this video I'm just going to talk over a general topics and just uh, some of the couple things that has you know arisen since the last video I made obviously it's been a very long time and um, I've actually broken up now from university for Easter or spring break as you guys call it in uh, in the US so um, yeah I got a bit of time off but obviously I have to do a lot of re revision for my course so um, obviously I'm not going to have a lot of time to make a lot of videos but hopefully I can get a few out a few out before I go back to uni and then get my head down for the uh, summer exam so um, yeah just I, in this video like I said I got a few topics that I want to talk about and the first one is just a recap of what's happened you know since the last time I talked um, the last video I made was about you know the Juan Mata signing so obviously since then the result has been a bit of a fairly mixed bag um, obviously uh, the main disappointment was um, you know domestically uh, with the result of you know the City game, the Liverpool game, etc. So um, obviously you know in a bigger game we haven't performed as we have liked. So um, it's a big disappointment. And when you want to challenge the very best, both domestically and uh, European wise, you have to beat the very best in order to you know achieve your targets. And if we are struggling in these sort of games, then it's unlikely that we're going to get anywhere. You know. Uh, during the season because last season um, our record against you know the other top sides domestically were, were very good and that's why um, we had to edge over them uh, in the title race but this year hasn't been uh, fulfilled as say because it's been like I said it's been a transitional season um, uh, I'm still very much behind David Moyes um, obviously uh, with each you know loss and that we do kind of over analyze of what he's done wrong uh, but I think it's just a bit of you know bit, bit of it's down to the players some of it's down to David Moyes it's not going to be a perfect transition from Sir Alex we all expected that but obviously it's been a lot harder than what we thought but I, I don't think um, the the board and the club will make any rash decisions they'll definitely uh, give him all the financial backing this summer and then hopefully uh, with the right recruitment he can go and you know achieve better and greater things next season so um, yeah just a recap I think it, it, in a lot of past few weeks as well it has been a, a better and improved signs that we are getting slightly you know more consistent performances from um, you know the bigger players and um, that all led to obviously on Tuesday night uh, where we played by Munich at home at Old Trafford and I thought the atmosphere was fantastic um, I thought you know obviously it wasn't the greatest attacking uh, game for United per se because to be fair Bayern you know dominated the ball I think they had about 75% of possession but um, you know apart from one uh, great save from De Gea um, they didn't really cause us a lot of trouble with that amount of possession so I think um, overall I think it was a fair result United obviously could have uh, snatched it even though it would have been unfair I think if Danny Welbeck had uh, had sorted his feet a bit quicker he could have um, you know started past Manuel Neuer in that chance but you know going for the chip perhaps was uh, a brave decision but perhaps you know Neuer is renowned for standing up um, quite a lot on one-on-one -on -one situations so perhaps Danny will uh, learn from that experience and hopefully we can go uh, there on Wednesday and uh, push out for a good result um, obviously it's all it's again we have nothing to lose nothing to fear really because no one expects us to lose because if we do lose even you know three nil or whatever away um, I don't, it'll be just another night because a lot of people expect us to lose that on the first night so it does show that we have um, you know still some fighting spirits in in the team and I think um, if, if we get everyone back and play um, you know defensively as well as we did last week then I think we do have a really good chance um, you know the buying game like I said not many chances a bit scrappy uh, we were defensively sound and that's what made it kind of like toothless in attack for a lot of the neutrals but I think against the best teams you have to concede that amount of space and possession and you know take inspiration from Chelsea from a couple of years ago they did not have a, a, you know the mountain share of possession but still came out and won the, the whole competition so we do have a lot of inspiration to draw on and obviously 
with the you know players that we have, you know Kagawa and Rooney, Welbeck in the Champions League, especially do have an offer of something that um, you know is a good at- attacking threat. So I'm looking forward to the game. Obviously, uh, my expectations not that high. Um, if it was a one-one draw at Allianz Arena, and it was taken back to Old Trafford, then I might have a bit more expectation, perhaps. But you know, with this season, there's so many up and downs. Um, I just don't know how I feel towards that game. But um, yeah, the next game, Newcastle tomorrow, should be an interesting one away. So hopefully, we can get a good, uh, you know, good win at, up there. Obviously, it's going to be a tough, tough uh, time with you know the crowd, the you know the, the kind of like. Uh, uh, style of that team where they're very physical, uh, very fast. So it's going to be an interesting game, and hopefully we can get the three points and move on to the buying game. Um, yeah, so that should be a, a good one, and I'll hopefully get a video out for you guys as well. Uh, the next one is I want to talk about is the new kind of attacking lineup that we have now with uh, unfortunately the injury of Elton Van Persie, but you know it does or seems to be having a silver lining in that it allows Juan Mata to play in the middle and thus you know offering a different style of uh, play and also dynamic uh, to the attacking you know threat that we have so matter in the middle offers a little more more guile i think than and a bit more mobility than even van Persie and rooney offered i think and obviously i think the interchange between shinji kagawa and Juan Mata is really really good if you just look at their some of the uh touches they play to each other it's fantastic i mean it, it shows that um they are you know these sort of intelligent players they just hit it off on the immediately on the same wavelength you know Rooney is starting to get into the same wavelength but you can see that these two um, some of their interplay are miles ahead of what anyone else is thinking on the pitch obviously we need to show more of this during the big games uh, it's all you know all well and done playing against you know West Ham West Brom etc but we do need to uh, have these sort of impacts within the bigger nights and I think uh, Kagawa uh, uh, you know, came on for gigs in the buying game, had the uh, second half, and I thought he made a, 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 a quite a different impact to the one we were expecting. He tracked back quite a lot of Bootner, and you know, he, he did carry out his defensive work, but during the counter attack, um, his touch and his technique definitely helped us to retain the ball uh, more effectively than you know Ryan Giggs was offering it in the first half. I think Ryan Giggs had an injury as well, so you have to take that into consideration. But Kagawa, I think. Uh, I thought uh, gave us a lot more legs during that second half, uh, especially going forwards on the counter attack. So, I think that's a, a an exciting uh, combination that we should f- look forward to. Obviously, uh, Roman van Persie still one of the best strikers in the world, but I do think with these more kind of like clever, uh, kind of like more smaller guy or driven kind of like players do offer us something more technical than perhaps we were before, where we you know based on inspiration from either Van Persie or Rooney at times of need but for these players we do carve out quite a lot of uh, you know clever chances so um, it's an interesting style and I think I do prefer it but obviously there needs to be a balance between getting Van Persie into the side and you know getting these the best out of Juan Mata and Shinji Kagawa so it's a, a, a that balancing act that David Moyes has to do perhaps next season because you know unfortunately Van Persie is out for the remaining uh, of the season I think with a, a knee problem so that was going to be um, that forced Moyes' hand but I think there's been positive uh, signs that this new kind of like style does have um, its advantages compared to you know having a proven number nine in Robin Van Persie and just the last you know, bit of the video I want to talk about is about the season's end goals, kind of what I want to do in the in the coming weeks. Obviously, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. We're going to be a bit mid table, seven, six. So it's going to be a um, disappointing end to you know an expectant season. Obviously, our first season without Salix, but um, I think overall, um, yeah, transitional season. We just have to wipe this off, and hopefully, we can you know just focus on next season get the new players in and yeah just yeah just focus on the remaining games as best we can get as far in the Champions League and you know just play exciting football to give the fans a bit of hope and a bit of uh, you know spirit going to the next one so there you guys have it for my 
short video of me just telling you what I'm doing, uh, what are my plans, etc. And just my general thought on United of late. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.